Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome to a very special exclusive unboxing. Now the thing is, this item was supposed to be included with the month of uh, June. So um, I decided to make this on its own because it deserves a place on its own. Um, I think a lot of people don't really um, have this unboxed on YouTube. Maybe I might be wrong, maybe the Japanese do have something. Um, but you probably might have to search for it in Japanese. So I might be I might be the only English YouTuber who is unboxing this. Maybe I don't know. There are so many Pokemon YouTubers out there um, that probably might have this. So <laughs> you know, um, I don't know. But if if I'm the only one, that's fantastic. <laughs> if it isn't, um, I guess. Um, well, you can see my reactions to the item itself, so let's get down to it. You guys probably know what it is just from looking at the thumbnail alone because I probably might be holding the box or something like that. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, yes, if you guys have already seen the title of this video and you have already seen the box that I was going to hold, this is the box that it came in. Um, it's a Pokemon Center Japan online official carton i guess so yeah it has the name there so i have like a short video clip of me showing the box art on this thing but the main content to it is actually what's inside it so let's get down to it because this is probably my very first pokemon unboxing uh, since the very start of my youtube channel <laughs> so yes, let's take a look at inside it. Uh, as you can tell, um, as, as usual, Japanese love to protect the goods that they, they send to their customers, which is fantastic stuff because we always love to have our stuff protected as mint condition as possible because we are, we are either nerdy collectors uh, or we just like to see them fresh and nicely knitted boxes without a crease on it when it's sent to us from <laughs> the land of the rising sun so yeah let's toss away all the stuffing that's inside here because that's not important the one that's in really important is the thing inside so yeah let's get down to it so you guys probably know yes today um, by the time you watch this video it's the 17th of june um, 2020 which is the release of the pokemon sword and shield expansion pass so if you guys have already pre-ordered it um, digitally of course because um, there is no other way you can get it except digitally if you're outside of Japan in Japan they do have physical expansion pass cards which is probably what I'm gonna get inside this thing because um, this is actually a special exclusive item that's only available on Pokemon Center online um, if you're actually pre-ordering the expansion pass for your sword and shield games um, so yeah, so this is, uh, as you can tell, there, there is the card there um, <laughs> and the rest of the items, so let me see, let me just get this out of the bubble wrap because I'm not featuring the bubble wrap, I'm here to feature the wonderful, wonderful cuteness that comes with this item and the expansion pass. So here we go, we have the Pokemon Center limited version of you know, the plushies of the gym leaders and one character. So, so yeah, that's fantastic. It seems like you know, <laughs> Nessa is being covered by the expansion pass card. So, yeah, so here is the front of the box just to show you guys again. The box is huge though. You can tell as my head is being over, overpowered by this, uh, you know, large size. And then, of course, the back shows the artwork. You know, for the two parts of the expansion pass that's coming to us in Sword and Shield. So fantastic stuff. As of course, this is the Japanese artwork because this is a Pokemon Center Japan exclusive item. So if you want to see the side of the boxes, apparently there's nothing printed on the sides. Oh, there's a handle here. So if you want to carry around your plushies and flaunt your cuteness in a box, I guess that's what you can probably do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, right. we are going to take a look at the contents, so 
we're gonna slide the box out of the plastic very nicely you know protect it I'm gonna have to keep this if I want to keep the plushies intact inside the box so let's not destroy that piece of plastic all right so opening it up so there's a flap here let's do this taking it out all right and pulling out the plushies from it oh how do I get this out There we go. Okay, putting the plushes aside first. Gonna take out this. Okay, so just making sure that I don't end up showing the download code. So, okay, so this is what you would normally see in the Japanese retail store if you wish to purchase the expansion pass with somewhat of a physical feel to it so pretty nice um, and of course if you open it up there is like um, instructions or advertisements to the costumes available within um, the DLC and of course you know there there is the information for that slow poke that you can probably get um, before the expansion pass launch official launch which is the 17th which is tomorrow so today is actually the last day that you can actually get this slow poke um, I guess that with, without the need of the uh, DLC so this is the physical card itself so you can actually pull it out and of course after that at the back of it um, you can see that they have instructions that you need to you know scratch the card to get your code you know to to have it downloaded into your game so this is not the important thing this is just the tiny thing that comes with <laughs> the important stuff which is the full set of plushies um available so there we go so adorable adorable stuff um i think they are kind of yeah they are kind of tied to the back so i'm gonna leave them like this because I don't really want to take them out from the original, you know, box that they are tied to. I want to keep it as mint as possible. Um, well, my standard of mint because I've already taken them out of the box. They're not considered mint anymore for certain collectors, but you know, they're still mint to me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we have the five characters here. Um, sadly to say, not all of them are popular. Like. Um, we have Alistair, I, I don't know, Alistair might be popular in Japan, but you know, uh, okay, the funny thing about Alistair is that the Japanese name is Onion, yes, it's literally that vegetable, <laughs> Onion, <laughs> so um, I have no idea why Jap the Japanese creators have named Alistair Onion, but you know, Alistair is a nicer name in English, um, but Onion... I, I don't know, maybe maybe something to do with the hair design um, like Onion Knight from the Final Fantasy series um, then of course we have the all-time favorite two we have Bea and uh, Nessa um, Nessa is called uh, Rurina, Rurina in Japanese um, Bea is actually called uh, Saito in Japanese then of course we have my favorite girl the main reason why I ordered this whole gigantic box set um, we have Mari, Mani, um, her Japanese name is Mary, which is actually an English name. So once again, Pokemon Company translating Japanese names or rather English names into English. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Why is she called Mani in English when she has an English name already? She's called Mary in Japanese. I don't understand Japanese people sometimes. Then of course, we have the... Um, Sundere boy <laughs> or wrong side <laughs> Sundere boy for the brand new um, fairy type gym um, yeah his name is Bede B, B, but his Japanese name is called B, Bito so beat in English so I don't understand once again very in weird translations beat is a perfect good English name why do you have to translate it to B-E-D-E, -E, which is so hard to pronounce? 
I seriously don't understand Japanese people sometimes. But anyway guys, this is it. I don't know if I can show you a close-up of the plushies because, you know, the camera might get a bit fuzzy. But yeah, here you go. Have a good look at the, the five cute plushes. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys for joining me on this tiny little unboxing video. Um, I'm gonna have to bury the popular two at the bottom because I just like to have my little girl here. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you guys once again for joining me on a very unique unboxing video. Um, once again, uh, I guess blast from the past back to some Pokemon content on my YouTube channel. Um, if you want to catch me do Pokemon content on my um, older YouTube days, you can go scroll through all my videos and watch some cringy stuff, I guess. I guess, but I'm still cringy as always anyways. So <laughs> thank you guys once again. If you guys watch all the way to the end of this video, you guys are awesome. Leave a like uh, to this video if you enjoy all the cuteness in the box. And of course, comment down below what you guys think about this exclusive Pokemon Center Japan um, package that comes with the DLC code for Sword and Shield. Yeah. And of course, let me know if you guys actually got yourself this as well. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts about the plushes itself, the quality, the make, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah, I'll guy I guess I'll see you guys in another unboxing video mm, soon, I suppose. I don't know when. Uh, maybe another two weeks or so. Yeah, all, all my you know packages for June are here, so I guess it's time to go and make another video. Until then, bye.